G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're back in our Millionaire Challenge coming into day 34. The sun is not far from peeking over the horizon over there. In fact, it basically already is, but the morning chime is just there. And I'm really quickly, before I forget, I was thinking to myself just then, don't forget your Magnum Josh, do not forget your Magnum Josh, and I almost bloody did, so I'm grabbing it now. Today is Trady Potato Day, so I have a bunch of gubs in my pockets ready to be sold. None of the tier 6 stuff just yet, we're just selling like all the other things along the way. I'll do... My goal is to have like one big load of tier 6 stuff to sell all in one effort and make as much money as possible there so I can move on and, you know, make bigger chunks of coin in one go at one time. So this is all the stuff I'm going to get sold. I've got my box down there that has like all like my schematics and stuff in it. That's less of a problem. But one of the things I wanted to show while I'm waiting for trade to open is in here... I've gone and got my T6 SMG and put all the mods in it that I can just to see how much it would be worth. It's worth a lot. It's worth a bloody lot. It's worth $6,000 before I have like my loot, uh, so my sugar butts candy and my awesome sauce. That's gonna be worth, that's like a $10,000 gun just hanging out there ready to make me some coins. So that's gonna be a good day later on down the deck. I have to wait a couple of hours for Trader to decide he wants to be open. So I'll just grab whatever I can out of you. Grab you guys too. Take it back upstairs and chuck it where it belongs. Just try and get my life in order a little bit while I have the time to faff about. While I've got the time, actually, I'm going to quickly... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. I'll chuck all of you into there for the moment just so I have some free inventory space. I'm going to go through while I've got a little bit of time on my sleeve to just figure out where I can put all these assorted mods. Give me all of you. Give me the cooling mesh mods as well. The booty boy mods. Don't have a lot of guns, so like the magazine extender mod and stuff isn't particularly as impressive. Grab that one. Grab you guys. Just wherever you might want to go, wherever you can fit in, I'll stick you in. In fact, there's another... Should be another bandolier mod in there. There we go. And just start doing all the legwork for the modding now. So later on... Look at that. That's not worth three grand. So later on, when I do have to go and sell some stuff, everything's already done, and all of the tomfoolery is taken out of my hands. Because I'm enough, I'm enough of a a flapping galah to start with. I don't need any extra opportunities to fuck shit up. Done a pretty decent job. A lot of the tier 6 stuff either has a somewhat in it. Some of them have three. A lot of them have three, actually. Like, you're missing a couple. You're full. You're full. You're full. You're full. I could go sell those today, I suppose. Uh, given I am, like, doing... I may as well, actually. If I'm going and selling everything, I wanted to do everything in one go, but I've got the time. I've got the space. Kind of silly not to, I guess. Get you all sorted out so I can put all my mods back in their respective boxes. And yeah, the ones that are full, I guess I can go sell today. So you're empty, you're missing one, you're missing a couple. Just only take the ones that are ready to go. Like that, for example. And that one, that one. Both of those, I think. Yeah, they are. You two, you're missing one. Look at that, though. Look at that. That whole stack there, that's like 20 grand. That's going to be a good time. I was just thinking to myself, oh, bang on the limit as well. I was just thinking, I think I have my learning elixir over at the horde base. I do need levels ups. It's that's not the way to say that at all. I do need some level ups, but is it worth using a learning elixir for this? Oh, I think it might be. I think it bloody might be. Okay, real quick then, give me you. I'm just gonna plop this off the end over here, just so I have it down on the ground. That's, that was a rather unexpectedly good takeoff of what I actually wanted you to do. I'll chuck some shit in this box. I'll go get that learning elixir. If I'm going to get some extra XP, I'm not going to be upset. I probably should. In fact, I do need to remember to build the next Sammy as well. You're looking a little lonesome because your friend... I mean, you're your OG, but your friend's not up next to you to keep you company. So I do need to remember to do that before too long. Um... Do I not have any learning elixirs anymore? Have I used them all? Huh. Okay, that's a little disappointing. I thought I had some left over over here. I guess I was completely wrong. That is less than fantastic. Uh, okay, well in that case, I'm kind of over here already. I don't have any money on me. 
I might go grab a stack of coins and just see if I can find one. I need like one more dog food to make a learning elixir. I know I've got one in the box, but I don't have any more. So if I can find one more dog food in one of the vending machines around here, then I can make myself another learning elixir. I think that's the right call. Okay, real quick then. Can you just hold on to just all of that? I'll come back for you in a moment. All of that as well. I need to go get some dollary doos. I'll check Vendo across the street first, then duck around town and see what I can find. One more dog food's all I need. I'm a, ha I'm a hungry puppy and I need to be fed. Check the Vendo. You don't have what I'm after. Do you, like, do you just sell it regularly? I'm not even oh, sure. Prices are fair here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dog food. No, nothing. Thanks I'm not going to check through your inventory just yet. I'll do that when I come back. I've got more pressing things to do. I thought I had some extras. I thought I had some extras lying about, but apparently I don't. So we're now on the search. And this is why I went through a marked bunch of vendors on the map. So I knew where they were about town. Oh, man. I'm going to find a lot of stuff today, and I doubt I'm going to find the dog food. Things are going well for me yesterday. Whenever things go well, I know before too long, things will go unwell. You don't have them either. Come on, don't do this to me. I've been through almost all the ones in town, and so far, no luck. So, fingers crossed that this is the one that gives me what I'm after. I was expecting there to be some... Oh, no, that's right. They're in the next room, aren't they? All right, just nice and quietly... No one knows I'm here. We're all good. They're all just having a kip in the ceiling. Vendo. Damn it. I'll buy you, but like, seriously? You're not going to give me anything? There's no other Vendos in there. That is rather unfortunate. Where else would a Vendo be in this bloody town? I'm not even especially sure. Does that factory have a vendor in it at the front? I think it might. It's worth a check at the very least. But if that doesn't have it, I'm kind of shit out of luck. I've been, <laughs> I've been going through a lot of vendors over the trip. And I've probably overlooked a lot. Oh, there's a stumpy boy just there. Quickly just grab you and check that. Got some honey. That's what I needed to make some more awesome sauce later on down the deck. Yeah, I've probably overlooked... Oh, I think there's a vendor in here, actually. I've overlooked a bunch of dog food over the trip, I'm sure, which is heckin' uh, insulting, given that I'm just, like, giving myself my own issues. How dare I have consequences for my own actions? Um, where is it? I think it's in here somewhere. Open sesame. Let me in. How you doing, bud? Oh, jeez, you got up in a hurry. Don't mind me, just cruising through. Where the shit's your vending machine? Where do you get your snacks? I could have sworn it was down here somewhere, but I guess I was mistaken. Or could I just open this up for you, bud? You want to have one more swing so it's metal? There you go. Open that. Take a step back and finish you off. Ooh, a gun safe. I mean, that's all, it's all very tempting and things, but I'm kind of on a mission right now. There we go. Intake vending machine. You have a jailbreakers, actually. Well, with a gun safe here, sure. Why not? I'll quickly go and peck that one open. Why? Why can't I find any freaking, um, any dog food? How am I struggling this much to find something that I've had bountiful amounts before? How has it gone so topsy-turvy so quickly on me? I may as well chuck on my loot and specs, check the bookcase while I'm here, couple more books to sell. Although the books are worth... Basically nothing. You're worth a bit, but the books can all be read without too much of a panic. Any dog food in you? No. Any dog food in you? No. Did give me a coffee, though. I appreciate that. What about this one? You got something for me? No, come on. Come on, please. Jailbreakers, I'll pick you open in one go because I can't be asked dealing with your shenanigans today. I guess I just have to do it without the learning elixir. I guess I have to kind of just forego all of the extra XP I would have gotten out of that. Huh. I would be disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I would have thought surely, like, all the vendors I raided, surely one of them would have given me what I needed. Checking you. Iron Breaker Mod and Machine Gun Parts. The Iron Breaker Mod will actually make another one of my tier 6s now max level, so that's not too shabby. Pop you open. Nothing out on this side either. Nothing in you. Ooh, you haven't been searched before, though. Scrap you, scrap you. In fact, then scrap half the things I just freaking found in there. Like that one. And that'll do. Look, I'm upset. I'm upset and I feel like I've been robbed. This is the place I was thinking of. Just by pop up out the front. 
I thought you did have one. You don't have one, which is rather upsetting, but we'll just quickly murder all of you guys while I'm here. Oh, you're a little upset about it. Can you die, please? There you go. I thought for a second one of you might have been a feral, but no, we're good. Oh, actually, though, I remember. I have memories. It's unusual for me to have any sort of competency, but in them, I could have sworn that through them was another vendor. It's on the other side of that wall. Oh, fortifying grip mods schematic. I'll read you because they're actually very useful. I'll take that one to sell. But if I real quick... Can I break through this wall with my lovely pickaxe? It's not too much of an ask. And just have a squeeze of what's on the other side. There'll be plenty of zombies and a vendo. I bloody knew it. Alright, well, if you don't mind, can I quickly just go... In fact, let's chuck you on real quick and murder you. You are a feral, but that's okay. The second one will miss and completely make a fool out of myself. But that's alright. I'll get in. Grab that vendo. I've got good feelings about this one, which means it won't have dog food. <laughs> None of my good feelings ever come to fruition. <laughs> all of those zombies taken care of. Got my loot and gog still on and a wall safe I can pick into while my lock picking candy is still cracking. It's now half past 10 and I'm aware that there's a couple of raids that I wanted to do today after I went to tradies. This is all superfluous to my actual goal for today. So that's not especially great, but I can't resist checking while I'm here. What's in you? A Magnum Master Rifle and another Bunker Buster mod. That's good. Ooh, I could go with my shovels actually and make things really good for me. No dog food. Scrap you for the iron den. Ooh, a sewing kit. I can sell you. Getting some extra dollar redos out of all of this. Don't mind if I do. Sell that one. Don't need paper. I carry anything else that's particularly worthless. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff actually. Throw that away. Don't need stone. Don't need nitro powder. And the rest of you guys are fine. I mean, this is a kitchen, so I might actually find what I'm after. You're a broken fucking vendo. See? See what I mean? I was like, oh, I've got a good feeling about this. And the game's like, huh, huh, huh. Do you now? Let me just take a good feeling and spit in its face by not even giving you a chance to search the vendo at all because it's fucking broken. All right. Well, that was a severe dose of disappointments. Damn it. It's now midday. Oh, what a derpo's coming in. From behind me. Wow, that's a long bloody way away. I'm not facing that way. I need to be facing like that so I can see it. That's a heckin' long drive. So let's have a gander. So I'm about here. Let's go like this. I don't even know what Derpo this is, actually. I think it's like Derpo 1. I think I'm up to that one. Derpo 1 scene. Got a lot of tradies. Jenny girl. No other Derpos, actually, because I did find that one out in the woods that I completely forgot about. It was so long uh, in the distance. I think it's probably about... There somewhere. We'll go Derpo 1. But that's not really what I'm here for. Yes, I mean, there's probably going to be some uh, some dog food in that Derpo. I think there might be a vendor in one of those rooms there, but I can't. There's a vendor there, actually. I can't quite remember. You're not marked on the map, rather, sillily. We'll go like you. That one looks like a vending machine, so we'll mark you like that. Come on. Come on, please. You're my last chance. Cat food. You absolute cock fromage drinking dickbag. Fuck. All right. Well, you cantaloupe, you robbed me. <laughs> Damn it. You give him, give him me cat food when I've got a dog. Heckin' rude. So I guess, I mean, I just have to bite the bullet now. I just have to accept I'm not going to get all the XP out of this that I could have. I have to kind of let that go by the wayside. Which is a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. I want it better. And you watch, as soon as I've done this as well, suddenly there'll be dog food falling out of every orifice I have, which would be heckin' bloody concerning. Well, that's gonna have to wait. That's gonna have to wait for another day. I'll just chuck it up here. I've got a bunch of extra gubs on me. Uh, what I'll do, I'll duck upstairs real quick and use the dump box and just put the stuff away that I don't want to sell. Go see Trady Bob, make a bunch of money, try and feel better about myself, but really, we all know... I got stitched up today. While I'm home, actually, there was these two mods that I found when I was out and about, which can both go into a knife, actually. Any of you knives close to being done? You're all at tier three. You've got two in you already, and I think you can take those mods. They kind of go in everything. They do. There we go. Another fully fleshed out tier six. Happy days. Oh, God, the weather has changed abruptly in the two seconds I was inside. 
But all right then. Well, I guess Poppy Boy's not the only one who's gonna get a bit wet today when I show up on his front doorstep with all of these hot slices of whatever I've got. Take all of you. Take all the high value stuff out of you as well. All the blue tier fives can come with me. Then we can start going through the tier fours. That's not a tier four. You can hang out for a little bit. Grab that one and that one. All right. Well, Bob. I hope you're going to make it worth my while because I've done a lot of work today and I kind of need you to give me a handout given the game refuses to. Let's eat you. In fact, no, I'll just do that inside. I'll do that inside. I was trying to be as efficient as possible. That's not my game plan. In we go. You definitely didn't have bloody dog food, did you? No, I mean, realized that myself if you did and I spent all the time running around just because I overlooked something, which is definitely something I would do. Drink you. Howdy. Magnum definitely out. XP gogs on. Nice. Okay, well, tier six stuff first, I think. So you, four and a half grand. That one, seven and a half grand. That one got the level up. That's good. All of you, all the way along. $26,000 reduce already. Oh, we're making bank today, lads. Making heckin' bloody bank. First loot, uh, loot, first load down. Yo, 60 back, grand yo. out of you. I will come back. I've got some more gubs across the street, so just hold your horses for a couple of jimmies. Nothing in you. Grab all of you, and we'll go and do it all over again. So 60 grand, that's a pretty good. That's going to put me up over 300 grand now, actually, which is heckin' good. Uh, you can take that one, that one, all of those, all of those. I mean, look, like the second round never quite gives you as much as it did the first time around, but it's still worth quite a lot to me. Every couple of thousand dollars is always worth my time. All of you. That one. What are we at? Another like 10 grand? Yeah, another 10 grand. Is yes. All right, well, I have 80 grand. We made $80,000 reduced today. Jump That's heckin' good. But while I have my day. extra discounts cracking, give me your gunpowder. Spending a bit of money, I know, but it'll be worthwhile in the long run. I bloody hope so anyway. Look at that, though. Tier 6 SMG. That was a good find and a good sell. That was worth a lot. I'll buy that Gravedigger mod because that can go into like one of the knives or something, which will be fine. What is in your secret stash? Another tier, six, uh, tier 1 impact driver. Would have liked, wouldn't have minded the better one, but that's okay. I never made my bloody mini bike handlebars either. I went breaking everything down yesterday and I didn't make mini bike handlebars. Oh, that was silly. Okay, well, we'll have to... Uh, Make uh, my comeuppance of that. That's not the word I'm looking for, but I can't think of the right one. I have to rectify. That's the word I'm looking for. I'll have to rectify the situation in a tick. Nothing else really in here, though. Safe All right. Travel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Hang on. Two seconds. What's in your not so secret stash? Any schematics or any books? That's really what I'm after. I've already read that one. That's the last of the armor mods that I can't make. Fuck yes. Give me that. That's that's actually Bonza. That's ah, fucking Bonza. Also, Bonza might level up and almost the next one as well. Read you. So now I can make a mod for every mod slot in a tier 6 piece of armor. That is a cracker. Fuck yes. Okay, well... I'm not sure I have enough time to go see the other tradies. In fact, I can do the crafting stuff tonight when I come back home. No point wasting daylight doing that now. So I'll quickly duck on up. I'll chuck all my dollar dues away in their respective places. Then get cracking on. Oh, I'm happy. I'm real happy. Here you go. Here's a bunch of fat stacks. I'll take like 10 grand women to the other tradies as well. But look at that though. We almost have... We do have... We have two full lines of 20,000. I mean, I have to kind of ruin that by taking some money with me today, but that's really fucking good. Oh, we're kicking goals, lads. I've got a little bit of time before my uh, Sugar Butts candy wears off, so I'll chuck you back into there just for safekeeping. And... I love this game. It's perfect in every way. All right, well, I guess I have to kind of... I was wondering why you were doing a cheeky jiggle, but now I know why. Pick you up. There we go. Just unclip you from the ground and chuck you back down again. There you go. Put all your gubs back inside you like that. Keep you locked. Keep you happy. Keep the magnum in the hot bar so I don't forget it. Let's go see the next trade of potato. Oh, man. It's been an eventful day already, and it's... Fuck, it's already 3 p.m.? Holy shit, today is gone quick. Bobby boy, I am back again. Don't mind the whirly burly coming in and parking on the road out the front of your house. It's for a good reason, I promise. Look at that for a landing. 
A little bit squirrely on the runway, but that's fine. May not have got a rounding uh, rendition of an applause from my uh, passengers, but we got the job done either way. XP Gogs on. Check you for no dog food again. Hmm. I'll buy the sugar bites though. Don't need it for this journey, but I will need it again later on. In Might check to gun safe. Yes, I have. Okay. You, real quick. Do you have... You don't have dog food. That's fine. Did I close the door oh, when I came in? Apologies. Check back uh, again. yes, I did. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Well, we've got a bit of time, Bobby boys. Let's see what you got for me. I can now make those for myself, but I am running low on the materials to make said things. So, may as well buy it while I'm here at a cheap. Uh, I'll take you as well, because why bloody not? Um, buckshots. No, I've got more than enough, uh, for shotgun ammo. That's fine. What else is around? No, don't need you. And no schematics and no other stuff. What about in your super secret stash? Lots of good gubs. Some books, but I've already got them. No lackers and knackers. Bunch of pieces of shit. Night stalker book I haven't read before. So, all right, I'll take you. Let's check your not so secret stash while I'm here as well to see what's going on. Basics of electricity schematic. Yes. Maybe not the best expenditure, but I feel like it will come in handy. I'd rather have it than not. It's one of those things that will come in handy later on. And like, otherwise I was going to know that I've never read it before. And not much else going on. All right. Peace be with you, yeah, peace friend. be with you too, Knackers. Is this the last book of the series though? It bloody is. All right, read you. That's fine. I'll quickly check. What books I got? Um, what was it again? It was like Night Stalker, I think it was. Night Stalker. Sneak attacks and knives at night. Alright, well, that, no. I'm never I'm never bloody doing that because I never get that close. I can't be arse trying to try now. The other trader all the way down to this next town is Trader Wrecked, which is never a pleasure to have to go and talk to, but I'm seeing traders today for, for the moment. It's already Jesus Christ, the day's going so quick. It's already bloody 5 p.m. How did the day go so fast? I've, it happens all the time. Like, I come into a to a day, I'm like, here's all the things I'm going to do. Then I potter about for about four seconds. And, like, I feel like it gets to nine o'clock really slowly. But it goes from, like, from nine to five, goes in the blink of an eye. It's like the opposite of a regular work day. You show up at nine, you're like, okay, I'm ready for this to be over quickly. In every other aspect of my life, nine to five takes eight bloody years. But in this, goes a by in a blink, and then I just have no idea what to do. I'm still going to go raid the passing gas and the working steers because I refuse to not now. But I might have to do it when the sun's gone down. And now that might be a little bit dicey. Going to try and land this a little bit better than what I have before, but preferably not in his compound. That is perfect because I do have to go and see Jen after this all the way in her town on the other side of the friggin' world. You've got nothing. All right, fair enough. No one has dog food, apparently. No one what? in the bloody world. Can I see it? Okay, you got one. We finally found the one dog food that I need. Cheers. Once again, it's trade direct though, coming to my aid. Uh, what do you have available to me? Oh, Shit, I'm not. I don't I have a make them out. Sorry. Sorry. Don't even fucking tip me. I did definitely. I was waiting for him to finish flapping his gums. I did definitely check um other trader Bob's not so secret stash, didn't I? That is very valuable. You reckon it's worth a hundred bucks? I would say much, much more, because that's another one that I can put into some armor other than my three mains. Or my four mains now, given that I did. Oh, you got springs. Springs and glue and headlights. Alright, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Give me you real quick. Because I want to buy that stuff. I've got a little bit of money of me, but that stuff is actually really good for me. Where'd you go? That one, take that, and that one, and that one. Spent a couple of grand, but that's okay. Not much else really in here. That's all good. But yeah, now I can like make all those mods for all of my armor. I oh, I thought that was just a flat out learning elixir. I should be pretty fine to make as much money as I can. Timer relay, don't need that. Bow relay, don't... Oh, uh, bow relay. Bow schematic, don't need that. Um... Nah, okay. Oh, that's you fine. Want a guarantee, huh? I don't. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. I did. They didn't have any dog food either. You've got another timer relay in here. What else is going on? Anything digging? Nothing digging? All right, never mind. I'll go see Jen then. At least you had the bloody, uh, what should we call it? You had the dog food for me, so I can't complain too much. 
Thank God for the gyro, though. I forget how far away all the things in this world actually are, because I usually just take off, point my nose in the direction I want to go, and then hold my gyro glitch keys and just go there. By the way, I have been seeing some comments people asking what the gyro glitch is to, like, not use any fuel. Um, and I have seen some people say that apparently you go a bit slower when you do it this way, which kind of tracks, I suppose. Like, if I take my fingers off and just hold... up. Oh, just hold shift and W. I don't know. Someone better than me will probably do an experiment and figure out, or do the math and figure out exactly if it is slower or not. It's only marginally slower. I'm okay with it. But basically, you'll hold shift, W, C, and spacebar all at once. So your hand kind of looks like this. Um, so you're going up and down at the same time. Uh, and you'll just go forever. And you use like, basically no fuel while you're just pottering along. This will likely get taken out eventually because it's clearly an oversight, but... The jar are so thirsty for fuel every other time anyway. I'm kind of okay with it. Oh, there's Jen's compound over there in the trees. We'll head on over that way. She's stuck over there in the wood. I'm about to give her some more wood as well. But uh, <laughs> just go and see her. See if she has some learning links and some dog food or anything else that might be of value to me. And by that point, by the time I get back to town, it'll probably be about 8 o'clock at night. So we're going to have to go raiding at night time. But I'm committed now. We're getting it done. I've made this rather difficult for myself on my approach. Not the smartest of options. That'll have to do. It's facing relatively the right way, so it'll be fine. XP Gogs on. Jenny girl, how you doing? Let me quickly just check you. See, Jenny's got me covered. If I hadn't come to Jen in the first place, I never would have had this problem. How you doing? You don't look so good. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. Do you have any antibiotics for the crushing pain I feel in my heart? Way to brutalize me in all my emotions. Put me in a glass case of a phone booth because like Ron Burgundy, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Jen. Rude. All right. Chill your beans. I flew all this way just to see you and you do nothing but give me shit. It's almost like you don't actually like me at all or something. Maybe this is just one or well, one way relationship that's completely unrequited. And that makes me sad, Jenny girl. Heckin' bloody sad. <sighs> well, in that case, then I'll still buy some stuff off you. Maybe if I spend money on you, maybe you'll like me. Maybe our relationship just is that shallow that you only like me as long as my credit card clears when I tap it on the FBOS machine. Oh, Jen, we could have had so much together, but nope, you had to be mean to me. I was going to say something else, but you know what? You can still to a lower level, I won't stoop to yours. I'll still try and maintain some sort of level of dignity. Um, but... Not a lot going on in your super Thank secret you so stash. Much. Hey, come again. So, oh, oh, so I spent money on you. Now you want me to come a second time? Oh, I see how it is. So it really is just a matter of dollar dues, isn't it? I'll buy that one. It's a spear book, but whatever. I'll buy you because weapon mods are always good to be able to make. And that's it. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. Well, okay, listen. Okay, I'm not just some sort of robot. You can keep pressing buttons, ignore my feelings, and keep getting what you want, Jen. It's not how this works. No, I'm leaving in a huff. Jen, I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm gonna sleep on the couch. As I take off, it is now eight o'clock. Well, it's about to be eight o'clock. So by the time I get to the town with the working stiffs and the passing gas, it will likely be <laughs> late. I think I might get there about nine o'clock now because I am a heck of a long way away. I mean, it's two kilometers to the apartment building, which is in the town south of the one I'm going to. I'm going to Jolie's town. Trekking out to Jen's was probably a bridge too far, especially given she just brutalized me as soon as I got there. I thought I was doing a lovely romantic gesture for my girl, but turns out she doesn't appreciate me as much as she appreciates my bank account. So, oh well. Guess this is something I have to deal with now. I've been through heartbreak before, Jen. I've been, me and Eileen have a history, all right? I've been galvanized against this kind of shitbaggery. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt when it first happens to you, though. I'll move on, I'll get better. But I won't forget this. I probably will. It's only just ticked past nine o'clock, so my guesstimation wasn't completely wrong, but not bang on either. Ooh, there might be a cheeky vendor in that store just there as well, actually. All right, I'll put you down. Like that, that'll do. I think there's a vendor in this one. I'll have a cheeky gander and see if I can get one. I'm still looking... For dog food and honey, if I can find some, uh, you're going to be the metal frame first. So get rid of you, and then get rid of you. Just a couple of clowns waiting for me inside. I know it's late, and I know it's getting a bit dire, but that doesn't mean I have to start panicking about stuff. There it is. I knew it was in here somewhere. Put you down as well. All right, well, 
Real quick, real bloody quick. Yes, 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 yes. I oh, know, but nerdy gogs can stay on. No, you're broken, you bastard. All right, well, at least I know it was there. My instinct was right, but it wasn't working. So I have half an hour to get through two POIs. Not gonna happen. Hold on to that. Let's change you over for that one. I'll keep the looting candy on because I'm gonna need that in it, sick. I mean, look, I have a shotgun and shotguns are everything. I'm still not sure if I prefer the auto shotgun to... Uh, what have you got? Got cat food again, no dog food. I still don't know if I prefer the auto shotgun to the pump shotgun. I feel like the pump shotgun has been my baby for so long. It is the OG oh shit shotgun and it is heckin' good at what it does. So I feel like sticking with that is usually a better call, but I can't help myself but always try. No, I'll leave that for later and see if I can roll with the auto shotgun and still enjoy myself. Wake all you clowns up. Get, oh god, get down there and join ya. There was another feral, so we're all good. Sit you down. Fix you up. Ten more minutes. I think it's just the mups on the roof, so we'll get up there nice and quick and sort it out. Fair time for the shotgun, I think. How you doing? You. ScoMo. Barky boy. Easy. Bloody easy. Yeah, I, I, the shot, auto shotgun doesn't fire anywhere near as fast as you might hope it would. It doesn't go out. It doesn't go as fast as an AA-12 or anything. There's the night time. If it was that fast, I might be more tempted. I still think the pump is the way to go. It feels weird not having it on me. The passing gas is empty, but well, empty of zombies, but full of loot. I'm going to save my looting for a moment when I have uh, my loot and candy going for me. Because at the moment... I kind of have to deal with all these shenanigans. I hate bikers so much. I hate bikers so freaking much. They hit like a dump truck. And they look like a dump truck. But they are... Uh, they'll fuck you up. Especially when they're quick. Another vendo. A broken vendo. No one waiting for me at the back. Okay. That's fine. I don't actually... Oh, God. I don't actually recognize this POI all that much. So I'm kind of exploring new territory. There's one. I saw a bikey boy too. There's two, and missed it, missed it, missed it. There we go. I should just stick to luring them to open doors where they're gonna funnel up, rather than trying to go toe to toe with them, because it never bloody works for me. Oh God, that's a coupler. Oh, that's a coupler. I um, may have overestimated myself a little bit on that one. There you go, come down the ladder. Nice. I think someone fell outside the walls. <laughs> Definitely sounds like they did. Huh, okay. Well, if that's going to be the case then, let me quickly just like pop open a um, bit of a hole for you to see what's going on so I can kill you real fast. Speaking of killing things real fast, kill you real fast. Don't have to worry about going with a shotgun when I have some time and space. Who's out here? Did you all just kind of like flop off the roof like you're doing a freaking high jump? You did the false be flop and now you get stuck on the other side. Yeah, I guess you are. All right, there's one. No, come this way. That'll do. And we're good. All right, we'll clear out the rest of the joint from all the other zombies. Then get our looting candy and grab everything we can. I might need two eye candies. I'm not sure, but I'll take two just in case. Chuck one in and get cracking. Start with the trash cans. Why not? Because they might have well, nothing in you, but they might have like lock picks and stuff like that that might come in handy. That's not so bad. Nothing hanging out in here. Check you. Nope, just some paper. I'd love some like some more dog food, obviously, or like something to drink, because I'm my stamina from sprinting around isn't particularly crash hot. Ooh, tier four steel sledgey. Oh, you dick. That's worth a little bit. Check you while I'm down here. Let's pretend I deliberately came down here. Tier four shovey. Don't mind if I do. Fighting tier four steel anything. Like that's worth another couple of thousand dollars. So nothing to turn your nose up at. Check you as well. What you got? Motorcycle chass. In fact, what's, what are you worth? 780 bucks. Not all that much. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. I thought you were worth more. Nothing much so far. We'll check the roof, though, with all the extra gubs that are up here. No, like, no fancy boxes. That's in the other place, but... Oh, I'm a little bit peckish, actually. Don't mind cracking open a cheeky can of spam and get... Oh, sorry, sham. Definitely not spam. And get it inside you. Um, grab that. Grab the ammo. Oh, a mod some shotgun ammo. Thank you very much. Oh, some meat stew. Well, could have eaten that one instead of the sham, but okay. A freaking gyro chassis. Fucking all right, then. Um, all right, we're good. We're fine. We're dandy. 
Drop down to here. I'll drop off what I did just get back into you. Like that. Free up my inventory space again and get cracking on the next joints. It's almost midnight. And in fact, tomorrow night is another horde night. So it's going to flick onto red for just a moment. But it's like a little glitch in the coding. It's not actually horde night tonight. Take you. Not that it matters because I'll be inside and safe. Oh, okay. Don't think Josh, just keep on pushing. Yeah, there it goes. See, goes red for a moment, but it's okay. It'll come back to normal in a moment. It's just kind of like an ominous warning that shit is going to get hectic tomorrow night. But between me and I didn't make the second Sammy. I have to do that. I have to make a second Sammy tomorrow night. T6 wrench, thank you. And some more parts and stuff. Lots of gubs in here, actually. I'm having a... Oh, another T6 sub. Having a good old time going through and grabbing all the gubs. Coming here was a good idea. It was a heck of a bloody good idea. Um, I have to keep track of everything I'm doing though. Because I I can't remember where I've been and where I haven't been. Start in the corner and work your way around. And check all the loos on the way. There is a fair bit of like materials and stuff here. Both cobble, cement and uh, also... Uh, what my, cobble cement and stone was the other one. I could, my brain just forgot that word for a moment. Not very good of you. Grain alcohol... Useful for cheesecake if I ever freaking find that recipe. Maybe today's the day. Maybe this kitchen is going to give me what I'm after. Uh, no, in fact, I was just going to scrap you, but all right, fair enough then. Check you. No, nothing there either. Still got a minute left of my loot and candy. I know where the, um, where the loot room is. If I get real dire, I'll just beeline right there. Uh, anything else around? Check that. For nothing. That's all right. I'd rather check and be disappointed than potentially miss something good. There's only 30 seconds left, so I'll just go in here now. Check you. I mean, I've got the extra... Ooh. You're worth more to me as parts. Scrap you, scrap you, take the repair kit. Um, I've got the other... Ooh, that's some good shit, actually. That's a real good shit. Got the other loot and candy if I need to, so not too desperate to die. Um, tier 4 steel pickaxe. Check you. T6 Ratchet, don't fucking mind if I do. And no, 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 come on, we were so close. That's fine. That's fine. I've got a plethora of loot and candy there. I'm not too desperate for it, so I may as well just do it this way. Scrap you for the parts. Check you as well. What have you got for me? Oh, a better impact driver. Okie dokie day. Happy with that. Quickly grab the gubs out of that one. Like that. You modify, chuck you into them. Nice, Gary. In fact, I might even... You're worth 156. But I think you give me... You do give me motor tool parts. And if I scrap you, I have the means to make another auger, which is worth so much more money than that. So definitely the wise move there. I think that's all the loot room done. But there's still like all of this stuff out here that needs to be looted as well. There's lots to get through. And I'm looking... I'm looking pretty chock a block. I'm excited that the diamonds and the silver nugs are actually you. Can get scrapped to save some space. You can get scrapped, I'll repair you and you with my repair kits. In fact, no, I won't repair that one instead because that's going to be worth... Damn it. All right, never mind. That's going to be worth so much money when it's repaired. Yeah, nah, sick. All right, what else is around? Always grab the secrets at the back of the truck in here. Anytime there's a truck, I get real sus that there's going to be something good at the back. Oh, another nail gun, some lock picks, and an anvil. The anvil can get scrapped for iron. That's fine. Check the food for... I'll scrap that for iron as well. All right, that's going to do me for here, I think. I think I've gone through everywhere I possibly could have and taken everything that's even mildly interesting. Nothing hanging out in here. Unlocked door. Oh, couple of trash cans. Nothing in you. I haven't gone through the roof just yet, so I'll go up there next and make doubly sure I'm not leaving anything behind. It's 2 a.m. I'm a little far from home, but not too far. Just a short hop, skip, and a jump on the dryer. Drink you. Yeah, I think I'm done. Oh. Alright, might need to dispatch some zombies before I go, but that's alright. Up to here. Just to there. In fact, you know what? Let's just go like that. And like that. <laughs> She's still stumbling around like an alley with her head cut off. Done. Easy as your bloody like. Shotguns are everything. Ocean Shotgun has been my best friend for a long time, and I have no plans on replacing him anytime soon. Job done. Let's go home. We're coming in a little steep, but that's okay. My farm's looking spiffy down there. That's actually pretty bang on. 
Perfect. All right, you, real quick, take all of that. Look at all the tier sixes I got out of that, though. You can hang out like that. Definitely a good use of that loot and candy. I think going the second round with it was a good call. In fact, just put your shotgun away before you destroy your dump chests. Nice. So, what have we got? One, two, three. Was that it? I thought I got, I thought I got more tier sixes out of that. Mate, all right. One, two, three, four. There we go. What are you worth now? You're worth 1,500 beforehand compared to... There's 700 on the on the tier 6 venture, but even though it's worth less, it makes the mods worth more. That's something I, I keep saying to myself just to try and get it through my own thick head that that is how it works. The initial value isn't what's important about the um the tier 6 stuff. It's how valuable it makes all of the mods or whatever mods you put into it. So even though like a fully decked out tier 5, like M60, for example, will be worth as like an overall dollar figure, the um uh, like the value of the mods is, uh, uh, a magnitude better. Go like that. Chuck you into there. Nuggy boys go in the sellables box. So do you. So do all of you. You can go into them. That's a good day. That's been a good day. It's now half past seven. So I have, uh, half past seven, half past three. So I have to wrap up this episode. So tomorrow I'm going to be coming back to face down the next Blood Moon Horde. And before I do that though... I have to go and craft up all of the stuff I need. I need I need learning elixir. Um, I've got ammo crafting. That's fine. There was something else I needed to craft as well. Hopefully, editing Josh will go back through and make a note of what I need to do so I can remember what I need to be crafting. So I'm supposed to do something today, and I oh mini bike handlebars. Josh, go make some mini bike handlebars, please, for your next sellables day. But we've got a good amount of tier 6 stuff. We've got a good amount of mods. We've got a good amount of materials to make the next set of mods. So all I have to do. A lot of that crafting and then fight the next horde. And I've got to make Sammy. Sammy the Sledge. There you go, Josh. Beat my handlebars and make Sammy the Sledge, please, before the horde shows up tomorrow night. I guarantee you, though, you'll forget about this and do something completely different and ruin your chances of getting things done. But I'll have to come back and ruin all my chances in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.